Hello there guys, I'm Unstable Voltage and welcome back to episode 7 of Europa Universalis 4 as the Mamluks. Once again we are still playing with the Cradle of Civilization DLC which was released a, uh, a couple of days ago now because this video should be going out on... Uh, I don't know, I can't even remember, I've completely lost track of days now. Um, this is probably Friday's video, something like that. Um, what do we have here? Death of Mohammed V has left our country without a ruler. We can install a, an average 50 claim of Egyptian heritage, becomes ruler of 50. Um, Syrian heritage is with an age of 30, or a strong Bedouin, age of 45. Or we can gain 15 army tradition. Yeah, sure, let's just go ahead and do that one. We've got a 644. That guy's really, really good. Um... What can we do here? Denounce sect practices again. So that means we can, again, reduce national unrest, move towards legalism. Sure, let's do that. Obviously, the legalism move isn't permanent. So Fazan's probably only going to have a small army. Let's just have a look. Between Fazan and Tunis, what do they have? Um, we probably better off sorting these by um, order. So Tunis, you've got 10,000 men. And Fazan... Where are you? Fair, 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 Zan. 7,000 men. So between the two of you, you've only got slightly more men than I do. Um, I don't really want to bring any men up from where they are because these men are all sort of busy defending. We can actually. We can have three extra troops. We don't want to lose army professionalism. Let's spend the money. Um, that's a lot of money we're losing right there. We are rooting out corruption. Fort maintenance is potentially a problem. Uh, I don't think we need to have that fort on. Um, tax modifier, thank you very much. We definitely want that one up there because it's close to the... Um, oh, compared ability. Yeah, we definitely want to leave that, that one because it's close to the Ottomans. So what do we want to grab? So we humiliated a rival and we're present on two continents. Excellent. So, reduce unrest, which is a an edict we can allow. Uh, reduced aggressive expansion impact. Um, combat bonus in terrain of capital. High developed colonies, we're not colonizing. Cavalry ratio up to 20%. I think the um, reduced, aggressive expansion, uh, reduced aggressive expansion impact is going to be the best one for us here. I'm also going to go ahead and... Oh, we don't have enough manpower. And there we go. We have... Uh, you've actually spawned right on top of where our army is. Which is excellent. Makes it nice and easy. So everything's costing us a little bit of money right now. And that's mainly because we are um, reinforcing. Uh, we've still got... Uh, F Fad Fadli Separatists might pop. Uh, so what have we got here? Corfu. Local goods developed minus 10%. Local goods modified plus 25. Or just go for the trade power. Um, are we still integrating you? Yes, we are. Our agent is discovered in Fazan. That is fine. So what I was thinking, if we can ever, ever stop losing money, which I'm sure we will do at some point. I'm not sure why it's quite as high as it is. Um... The Amirs can go ahead. I guess it's still them that is disloyal. That we might end up to, right. Let's go ahead and get through that. We'll give them the loyalty, and we're going to go ahead and end up taking out a loan. But that's fine. Had plenty of games before where we've taken out some loans, and they've worked out absolutely fine for us. Not a problem. So there's our loan. We're not going to build any buildings right now. I mean, we could do, uh, but we'd like to get the loan paid off. Um. Oh, we can't do that anymore now. Up to a maximum of 150. Right, so you lose all what you've gained when the current ruler dies. Okay. That was a mechanic that I was unaware of. Right, while we have some money, we still don't have the manpower, so I can't boost those guys up. Let us buy a building then. Let us go ahead and get somewhere that'll give us a bit more tax, tax power. One in Damascus. There we go. We'll probably end up taking another loan, but once the corruption gets down... What is our current overextension? It's only 15%. Uh, 
Lucas, you're no longer with us. No, you were our good general, sir. Let us go ahead and get another then. Um, recruit general. Uh, and I'm going to call you Lucas Campbell II simply because you were a really good general. And I'm hoping that, you know, if we give you the same name, that uh, you will be again. Uh, actually, yes, you are a two-star general. Um, move towards legalism, move towards mysticism. Let's, right, before we make that decision, legalism gives us more tax. So we definitely want to move towards legalism. Even though we're having some religious unity issues, we want more money coming in. And that might help solve some of our issues, certainly not all of them. Because we are still losing some money. Um, in court, Ramazam into our country. It's not going to happen for a long while. Let's go ahead and say we're going to recover manpower, even though that's not going to be a thing either. Um, Hejaz, we are working on integrating. In fact, if we can get that integration done relatively soon, we will have some additional... Um, troops anyway so let's have a look how things are going over here we are still allied with austria excellent now then poland yeah poland still hates us. what's this here that's a weird random flag why is that there um that's weird uh poland is yeah poland is still still doesn't like you negative 41 I mean, we can try and improve relations here. I just don't think it's necessarily going to help. Any I didn't actually send in there either. Um, we can go ahead and try and improve relations there and see what, what difference it could potentially make. I don't think it's going to be a lot, if I'm honest. So let's try and get our financial situation sorted out. The Emperor has enacted a reform. Okay. Now you guys... You actually really, really like us. You'd accept vassalization, which we could possibly do after we've um, incorporated Hejaz. And this is one of the reasons why somebody said go for Diplo, because then we can just vassalize and, and swallow all of these guys up. Which is not a terrible idea. But I would like to sort of eat my way across... Um, and grab, grab some of this coastline. It would certainly help out with things. Still not sure why we're losing so much money. Um, right, we only need to uh, reinforce one more time. Move towards legalism. The Alima estate gains loyalty. And one area... Um, for 10 years, gets negative 25% tax modifier and manpower modifier. Well, I don't want the unrest, so we're going to have to go for that one. I mean, it, it is good for us in one way, because we are moving towards legalism. Let's go ahead and take the next admin. Uh, we do have a tech penalty. We don't need to do it yet, actually. Let's just wait until the end of the year, because then we should get a discount. Uh, there is a province we can actually convert. It's going to take 111 months, but let's do it while we've got the opportunity. It might work out for us. So we're still losing money quite rapidly as well. The amount is going down, though. Uh, costly trade embargo. Right, are these guys no longer our rivals? They indeed are not. Um, let's bring you back from Fazan. And then we can go ahead and revoke our embargo now. Does that mean we're short on um, rivals? How many rivals do we have? Got two open rival slots. Obviously, the Ottomans is a clear choice. And I say we go with France. I'm not going to pick up Castile just yet. The reason I go with France is because France are further away and I'm less likely to have problems with them. If I start working my way down here. Also, tell me France arrivaled Austria. Excellent. France and Austria are rivals. Um, Poland, I guess you're probably not rivaled to either of them, are you? No. Right, so what we can do is we can go ahead and um, embargo France. Not that it'll really make any difference, given the distance. We could also go and send a nice insult to them. Uh, we do have to wait until Valentine's Day. So maybe we can send them a rather uh, rude Valentine's card. So let's go ahead and wait for that one. 
Send an insult to France. There we go. That's given us 87 power projection now, which is quite nice. Losing money still. Um, we are into the next year, but that still is not cheaper for being ahead of time. Let's just go ahead and take it. It does give us the um, production efficiency. And helps to reduce the corruption as well. So if we can get that corruption down, it'll, it'll cost us less. Uh, let's recall our diplomat. We've renewed our loan. Apparently we can't, um, or taken a new loan, we can't suck up to Poland any more than we already have. Uh, the price of paper changes plus 25% until the end of the game. Excellent. Not sure if that helps us out any. We're still not losing as much money as we were. Our royal marriage with Hejaz has ended. That's fine. So we are still over the relationship limit. We could go ahead and attack somebody. I'd still like to possibly take out Fazan. I don't know. Do I really want to take out Fazan and, and be next to Toga and Tunis? It might not be a terrible idea. They are still your only ally. Uh, well, we will take that royal marriage. We don't really need it, but we'll take it anyway. I'm going to go ahead now that I've got the manpower and get two more infantry here. And then that'll make this a much stronger army against Fazan and Tunis. We should be able to deal with them. Of course, as soon as we finish integrating these guys, we'll be over the... Actually, that's a better idea, isn't it? Let's go... Let's go into here. Let's cancel both of those. Let's go and grab two infantry from this army. And you can go and march over there. And then when we've finished integrating Hejaz, we'll just send two of those guys up to make that army up. And then we're not, we're not wasting manpower. Uh, we have lost a general, which is this guy down here. Again, unfortunate. Let's go and get another one. And we get to give a name. Right, so let's go down the list. Who do we have after Lucas? It is Foundation Afro. You are in there, sir. Please be a good general. Please be a good general. Don't let me down. Ah, you're actually quite good. You don't have any shock, which is unfortunate, but you do have three maneuver and siege, which is still pretty decent at this stage in the game. So quite happy with that. Excellent. Uh, and you could go back to drilling. What is our professionalism on at the minute? 23.1. Um, and I do want to sort of keep my eye on the comparison between myself and the Ottomans. Uh, we still have the morale advantage. They do have a discipline advantage. They definitely have a siege ability advantage. Look at that. Um, but our tradition is much higher and our professionalism is about the same. So, I mean, we are really going to narrow down their ability to expand. We should definitely go ahead and... Uh, you are allied with the Great Horde and Ajam, which is a bit of a pain. But I still think we're going to go in here and actually build a spy network. Because what I'd like to do is get up here... If I could take those three provinces, I've completely got the Ottomans penned in on this side then. Of course, that means if the Ottomans decide they're going to expand east, they're going to declare war on me. But at least at that point, Austria should jump in to defend me. They should defend my honour. So we'll see how that works out. There's the integration done. So we're now going to be over our force limit by two. Um... So let's go ahead and uh, we've got a random cavalry here. So let's go ahead and take away the cavalry and take away one of the infantry. We'll select that unit and disband it. And then with what's left, we are going to split it in half. And we probably, yeah, we can't actually get there. We'd need military access. Um, would you actually be my vassal? Yes, you would. Let's vassalize you. So we're back to the state that we were in. But now these guys are my vassal. Uh, we can just move these guys um, and, and join up with these armies now. Excellent. So uh, we have ourselves um, four transports and a galley. They're not all that useful down here. So I'm just going to go ahead and disband them. I could have sold them, I suppose. But let's just get rid of them. We've got this army up here. Let's go ahead and group you together. Now, wars are very expensive. Uh, but we could go ahead and do that. Alternatively, of course, we could just save up the admin power and um, 
you know, remove the nobility, and that'd save us a fair bit of money. Because we, we are paying a lot of additional costs for our armies, which is part of the problem. Um, I think I'm going to get you guys drilling uh, as soon as you guys arrive there. We do need to be careful of the... Oh, Castile's rivaled us. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so let's group you guys together and rival you. Uh, sorry, and drill you. And then let's go and... Um, yeah, fine. We will uh, we'll go and rival Castile. They've rivaled us, so we might as well. So maybe we don't want to head too far to the uh, to the east, uh, sorry to the west. But I'd still one more coastal province. I think is still going to be good for us. What is the trade goods here? It's only fish, and the provinces are one one one. Does Fazan have anything good here? They've got livestock. Another one one one. They've got ivory and they've got spices. It would be not worth taking actually. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to start this fight. And yeah, it might be an expensive war. Tunis won't even come in with a look of things. Uh, we failed our mission, which is fine. That is what we expected. Let's go ahead and um, raise war taxes. Uh, if I can find the button, because I've instantly lost it. Which is, oh, it's here, isn't it? Um, raise war taxes. There we go. And um, yeah, let's see if we can get... Bazan. And that will then give us a couple of provinces with a better trade good. Do we want to pick a new mission? The rival of our rival. The rival of our rival is England. We should make them a friend. Sure, we can do that. We've got free diplomats. Let's go ahead and um, improve our relations over there. Now, we can force their ships out, but I'm not too bothered about them. Did Tunis get involved with this war? No, it literally is just for Zan. Interesting. I wonder why Tunis didn't come in. Um, they're not fighting in another war. I think they just um, decided not to honour the call. I mean, they are my ally as well. But I think they just decided it wasn't going to happen. So we do need to be careful of their army because they may try and double back and get around and, and come this way. I don't think they're going to, to be honest. I honestly think they're just going to sit there and, and let me take their stuff. Uh, we are allied, so we can we can just march into Tunis, uh, Tunis if we want to. Which is probably what we will do. I'd like to try and catch their army out, if at all possible. There we go, they're locked and we're going we're gonna to land on them. Going to land on them with Lucas Campbell II, our two-star general, who is going to give them a reet good kick in. There we go. 20 war score because it was a stack wipe. So at least this will be a fast war. And uh, there's Medina down there getting a good start on. Gain some admin power and a base tax. Yeah, base tax is always better. We're still losing money, so anything that gives us more tax is going to be good. We've got a little bit of money. We could go ahead and use that and try and get another tax building somewhere. They will pay for themselves eventually, and we'll move you down there. We'll take as much money as we can. We're actually, well, it says we're making money, but that's misreporting. I think that's just because I've... Uh, I don't know, maybe it's not. Is it because we got rid of the corruption? I think it was literally just because we were paying for the corruption. We are actually now making money. Excellent. We'll, we'll lose some again in a second because we're about to uh, we're about to take some attrition, so we'll be reinforcing. But we do have a leader with um, siege, so that does speed speed things up. Move towards legalism, yeah. We do want to keep moving towards legalism if we can, because we do want to try and get this um, uh, national tax modifier. I believe this is on like a scale, yeah. So the higher it goes up, the more tax modifier we get. So declaring war all the time is actually good for us because it'll keep bumping that up. Are we making any progress here at all? No, we're not. So obviously because we started to move, we declared war, we moved towards legalism and that became a pain. Lose 25 prestige or army tradition. I'm going to take the prestige here every time. I do not want to be losing that army tradition, especially when I am neighbours with the Ottomans. So we just need to get lucky down here. Um, can we actually build cannons yet? 
we cannot. We do not have the tech. I was sure that they were an earlier tech than that. Have they changed it again? Um, level 7. No, I was sure it was earlier than that. Okay, fair enough. Lose some money to gain some mercantilism. Sure, mercantilism is good. And we are taking out loans. We will get those loans paid off, though. I'm not overly concerned by it. Let's not buy a building. We've got three loans at the moment. Yeah, I'd like to get at least one of those loans paid off. Who knows? Maybe Fazan will have enough money that we can just pay that loan off. Now, Iraqi Separatists, Sinjar, and Hadthaya, which are these ones. Um, if it gets to 70%, we'll stop those guys from drilling. Uh, you guys... Um, Fadal Separatists is Raba, which is not down there at all. You guys are still drilling. Um, where is Raba? Which one is... Oh, it's that one. So everyone stays there. Um, so yeah, you guys can actually just stay there drilling. I'm not going to go ahead and take the morale of armies as nice as it would be, because we are behind on the tech. So we will wait on that one. We are still gaining money, apparently. Now, we have just gone over the 20-minute mark, but I'd like to get this war finished, if at all possible. Come on, get lucky. There we go. Fantastic. So, 100% war score. Take all of this. That gives us hardly any aggressive expansion. A little bit of overextension. Uh, how much money do you have? Only 120 ducats. Not an awful lot. But let's go ahead and send those demands. Gives us a few provinces we can use. Let's go ahead and core them all up. And uh, yeah, we probably need to... Um, see, trade efficiency less 25%. Tax modifier less 25%. Yeah, we should probably get rid of that, to be honest. It will cost us a fair bit in stability. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's let's get rid of that, because I think that's going to hurt us uh, in the long run. Curtail the nobility. Um, oh, their influence still needs to be lower than 60 to do that. Um, what is their influence currently? Mamluks get tax income loss for 20 years, reducing our tax by 10%, and they gain loyalty. Or we can lose a stability, and they lose loyalty. Um, I don't want to lose tax. They can lose loyalty as much as they want. Um, what we want is for their influence to go down, and that should happen in 75. Uh, let's go and just boost the stability back up to plus 1, so that we're not hopefully not losing too much money of course we do have a bit of corruption again or we will have a bit of corruption so we're paying for that uh let's go ahead and get you guys drilling now we might as well do that for the time being and um oh we've got another little trade fleet down here do we want to leave them there doing anything being over your ship limit has never been that big of a problem I think we'll just leave them down there for the time being. And, um... Yeah, I think I'm going to stop these guys from drilling, because I'm about to end the recording, and I know that when I come back next time, I'll almost certainly forget to keep my eye on this, and I'll forget to, uh... to undrill them. So we'll go ahead and do things that way. We're still over our relationship limit, but that is fine. Um... Medina... We can't get you for a while because you are a relatively new vassal. Uh, we should go ahead and try and integrate these guys. So let's go and improve our relations here. If we can get these guys uh, sorted out, we can integrate them. Uh, we have a mission. Incorporate Medina into our country. Well, I'd love to, but I can't do it yet. Um, so let's go ahead and get, just get the manpower one. We know it'll break the moment we... Uh, but the good, that's a good thing. Failing the mission means you instantly get the option to do another mission, as opposed to cancelling the mission and having to wait a year to get the next one. Uh, we have no diplomats to send. Um, we can bring back our diplomat from England. So I'm just going to go ahead and send this diplomat to get the royal marriage. I'm actually surprised that they haven't... Um, tried to do that to be honest but we'll get the royal marriage here 
There we go, that's that sorted, and that is a good place to end the video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4 as the Mamluks. I'll see you next time, and until then, goodbye for now.